How's it going everyone? Today we're going to install an aftermarket radio in my uh, daily driver 2009 Nissan Versa. So I'll walk you through how to pull apart the, uh, the dash and everything to get the factory radio out. We're putting a Pioneer double den in it. And I'm also going to run wiring for a subwoofer and stuff I have in the trunk. So we're probably going to pull the center console out here in order to run the wiring underneath the uh, carpet to the back of the, the hatch. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is pop this center piece off here. Just get a little pry tool underneath it. And yank it forward like that and it should pop right out. So as you can see it's got these metal clips. It looks like two of the clips are missing in the center. Anyway, that piece is out of the way. So we'll take out our screws up here next, two screws on each side. Goes down the cup holder. We'll want to Give this a shake. That pops loose there. You got your two connectors, one for the passenger airbag light and the other for your hazards. So undo those. that piece is out and that exposes the, the radio one thing you want to make sure uh, before you disconnect power and everything make sure you have all the CDs out of this this is a six disc changer uh, this used to be my wife's car and she listens to a lot of CDs so I had to make sure they're all out of there before you disconnect power because then you won't be able to get the CDs back out so next we'll go ahead and remove the four screws, two on each side, holding the radio in. I may not be able to get to that with the drill. If you have an extension for a drill, it makes it a lot easier. But I probably have one. I just don't want to walk down to the shop. Okay, this guy slides out. Disconnect everything on the back here. There it is. Factory radio is out. I got a, a wiring harness for the new radio that uh, can utilize the factory plug and then we can hook the uh, uh, splice everything to the new uh, Pioneer double den I got and then mount everything back in. So with the radio removed I'm running like I said earlier I'm running uh, wiring for the subwoofer and everything and also this has a, uh, a parking brake wire the new uh, stereo as a parking brake wire that will need to be wired to the parking brake so we'll show you how to remove all this interior trim this center console trim to get uh, to get out of the way 
for us to run wiring and then if you ever need to remove center console this is how you do it so to start we'll start with this piece right here so you can see there's a little gap in there so you can get a pry tool in there put some pressure on it and it's just clipped in it should pop right out that you can disconnect your uh, cigarette lighter get that piece out of the way and then this next piece up here where the shifter is will also just pop out so you can see it's uh, held in there by four clips and underneath this you got four uh, let's see t20s so t20 torx bit so you can go ahead and pull these out of the way come to this back side here we can pop this piece over the e-brake out of the way just yank up on it this also pops out Put this e-brake down so under there there's a bolt under here and then there's two more in the back that hold this on Uh, 13 millimeter so take that out the drill and then we can move to the back of the center console from the back seat back here same thing with these plastic pieces you just want Try and pull up and out, it pops out. And then there's two more 13 mils back here. With that, the whole center console's free. So you should be able to just pick it up pull it out of the way there you go that's how uh, the center console comes out so now we'll move to the front because I still want to be able to get the uh, cup holders out so I can fish the wiring down through here and run it back through here along underneath the carpet so we're moving on to the front piece of the center console so first there's a little plastic screw on each side that holds this panel on here so we're gonna go ahead and twist that guy to where it's loose pop it out and then this panel will pop out here which will reveal another t20 torx bit here so there's one on each side once you pop those this panel will come right out Okay, with those removed, pull this guy out, or try to, the seat in the way. May have to put the key in and pull the shifter back. Yep, then that pops right out. And now 
the whole center console area is exposed. All right, so I bought a Rockford Fosgate uh, wiring kit for this. So it comes with some really nice wiring. It's a little more on the expensive side, but from what I've read, it's well worth it. So we'll run our RCA cables down through here, have it going underneath the uh, center console. Then we'll run it right into the carpet back here, pull the seat up, and run it all the way back into the, uh, the hatch. Same thing with our remote cable for the amplifier in the back. So I got the remote cable and the RCA cables run underneath the seat. And run underneath the carpet there, going all the way up. Now uh, cable tie them off, all nice and neat under there, and make sure they don't hang up on the e-brake or anything that's mo moving underneath there. And then the power cable, went ahead and pulled the battery and the ECU out of the way and this tray out of the way and just ran the power cable through the same uh, rubber grommet that the wiring harness is running through in the back of the uh, firewall. So that, that comes out underneath there. And then I can run the cable behind these kick panels up underneath the carpet all the way to the back of the car. I'll have it coming out here. So I'm going to just, all those panels just are clipped in. So I'm just going to pop the clips out, tuck the wiring back there, and run our power cable back here. Finished product on the wire. So I got the red wire going through here. And it follows underneath this carpet going all the way through here and it comes out up underneath the seat back there now through the back it's all nice and hidden and then the engine bay got the wire coming out right here the fuse we can just run it right to our positive right there and probably should have left a little more slack. I still have a little bit of slack, so I may be able to route it underneath some of those wiring. And if I want to, I can bolt it to the uh, the strut tower right there. Or maybe utilize this open bolt here, this open threaded hole. But I'll probably just zip tie it up to this wire just to hold it, hold it from moving. So now with all that run... Go ahead and actually install the uh, the stereo and get it all wired up, and then reassemble all the interior, and then wire the uh, rear amp up and the subwoofer. So the wiring's all hooked up to our harness here. So we have the factory or the uh, sorry, the Pioneer harness there, and then. Uh, factory harness adapter to plug into our factory harness right here. We also had to get an adapter for the uh, antenna, which right here, this is the antenna adapter baggie, and then the wiring harness we use, the factory harness. So now we can just plug this into our factory harness without cutting anything up, put that end into our new Pioneer radio. And then we'll have to pull the brackets off the stock radio and put those on the new radio as well. We can get that installed. So we got our factory radio. Um, there's four T20s on the side here. So we'll go ahead and blast those off so we can have these brackets. Here's our new radio. And 
and the radio came with its own uh, mounting hardware just over here Okay, our brackets are on. Go ahead and plug our harness in. These other two, I tried looking up online. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, from what I've read, I believe they're for like uh, factory telephone, Bluetooth, or like an external amplifier or navigation, which uh, this car doesn't have any of that. So. We're just gonna leave that stuff unplugged. Tenna, and it also came with this auxiliary here. To run your iPod iPod, iPhone, or whatever you got. <clears throat> so we'll run that down. Run that down to the side down there. And I'll route that later where I want it. that's how it'll sit all right fit the trim piece in and, and also I bought a mounting kit just in case but I didn't really use any any of the mounts that it came with it um, it came with some plastic mounts instead of the metal ones that come off the factory radio I just used the uh, little vanity bezel I kind of push that in there it fits all right not the best but it looks okay um, radio sits a little far in on this it doesn't bother me at all though so you could probably adjust those uh, mounting brackets to pull it out closer but uh, otherwise it it fits pretty well I got everything hooked up power wise so we'll just double check, make sure everything kicks on. Which it looks like it's working. Has been actively helping people. Radio works. We have. Let's double check some of like the. 75% off great gear across the store. When you take an extra 50% off already reduced items. So that looks good. So next we'll go ahead and uh, hook up our amplifier in the back and the subwoofer and get that going. And then we can clean this up, put the rest of the uh, trim pieces back on and call it good. The radio's in. Um, music works. I can play a little bit. It works. I don't want to get flagged on YouTube for copyright, but uh, all the center console is back in. Going all the way back. Um, I hooked up the uh, subwoofer. Cleaned up the back. All the wires are hidden. And kind of got the subwoofer and the amp laying back here. So what I realized on the Versa there is no metal backing to this uh, these seats so I tried to screw the amp on the back of the seats it wasn't catching on anything 
Uh, if anybody knows a good spot to mount this stuff, try not to drill into any of the panels or anything. But if there's a way to mount it or if there's some metal I don't know about back there, comment below. Uh, for now, I'm just going to have it sit back here. I don't use the trunk that much anyway. But everything works. Everything's in. And, uh, it's a fairly easy install for the most part. So that'll do it for, for this video.